who's here, it's John Tempesta. This guy is the most amazing German role because not only does he play subs for, t for Testament, he also plays in a little band called uh, the, the Cult, and uh, which is like two of the greatest gigs in the world, right? It's fun, man. It's good going from the Cult to playing Thrash again with Testament. You know, these guys have been friends of mine forever. So right. when I got the call, I was like, hey, I had to do oh, it. Man. So, you know, yeah, yeah. it worked out really good. I'm having fun, especially with Anthrax on the bill because I grew up with those guys sure. as well. That's how I started in the business. Yeah, yeah. the drum tech. I didn't know that. Really? The funny thing is, when they first met Testament back in 87, they opened up for Anthrax, right. and they seen me sound check on Charlie's drums, so that's late, years later I got the call, you know what I mean? Asking me to join the band. Oh, that's pretty freaking cool, then. I, Exodus, too. Right? They opened up for Anthrax, so I owe a lot to Anthrax on that. Oh, that's awesome, yeah. So, uh, now, the cult thing, there, is there a new record in the works, or? Yeah. Working on it right now. Yes. Yep. So how does it, you know, now that you're... You've been part of the unit now for what, almost four or five years now, something like that? Uh, it'll be six years in February. Six years. I think wow. I, I am the longest lasting drummer in the cult now, as of now. <laughs> How about, I broke a record, yeah. You broke some kind of record. There he is, Ted! Get over here! Wait, wait, wait. All I have to say is, impact is imminent, force I have it. <laughs> oh, man, we're going way back on that one. Damn. The first record ever. Yeah. Yep. Well, that's pretty cool, man, the, the cult. Gosh. And uh, so is there a title for that one yet? Or? No, not yet. I mean, uh, they're still doing vocals and guitars. That's come, I, ha I did my tracks already, so it, you know, I have free time and I was able to do this tour. And so I'm, I'm leaving the tour next week to do a festival in Belgium with them, and as well as Abu Dhabi. We're, doing, uh, we're playing a big show at the Formula One race. Nice. Paul McCartney, Britney Spears, Incubus. It's a big festival. So. Nice, in Abu Dhabi, yeah, man. Yeah. And a Formula One race. I've, I've never actually been to one of those. Neither have I, so I'm really excited yeah, about that. So it's cool. Gene Hoagland did me a solid, you know, coming in and he's going to fill in for me. And then uh, at the end, I'm actually going to fly from Abu Dhabi to New York and playing that night. So, we'll Wow. See, we'll see how that one goes. Yeah. Good luck with that, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, it can't be all bad, right? It could be worse. You could be sitting at home. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's why, man. I was like, I, instead of sitting home, I come out and tour and play some double bass again. So it's all good. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that, right? No. Get to pound the skins like, a, you know. Yeah, I'm getting quite a good workout of doing these sets, man. Now, is it a big transition for you trying to, you know, because the cult is more, that's more of a solid rock roof thing. Yeah, I mean, but when, I, when I'm at home, I practice. I have my big double bass set up, and I do drum clinics. But to do actual full set, yeah, it took me a few shows to get in yeah, there, man. Get a little windy. You're going, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm going to lose so much weight on the end of this tour, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm already nice. losing weight, yeah. So now doing the cult thing, do you get to have any input into the songs or do they just go, here it is, and just pretty much, well, it, Ian and Billy get together and, uh, you know, doing demos and all that. Then we get into a room and, yeah, you know, whatever, like drum beats, whatever. I try to put as much as I can into it. That's cool. That's good. They, they trust you well enough to, you know, rather than having a drum pattern all set up for you. Exactly, right. So, you know, and Ian has some ideas he'll throw at me and I, I'll just throw them, you know, spice it up a bit and it goes from there, man. Not bad. Does not suck to be this guy. One of the most versatile and powerful drummers out there. That's why he keeps getting all these killer gigs. Oh, man. Thanks, dude. Right. Appreciate that. Good, Good to see you, Ace. <laughs>